adding cell content. When we place the table in our drawing, uh, I'll go with specify an insertion point with an empty table. First thing is we're now able to add cell content. We get the table indicator in gray. Across the top, it identifies the columns by letters. And then it can identify the rows. So therefore, if I were to click down here, oops, if I were to uh, click down in, if I were to click in any particular one, this is identified as A6, this particular cell. So I can just click in any cell and I can add information in. And uh, so I can, for example, create a window schedule. Um, and I'll type in window, oop, window schedule. And I can actually go around and click in various fields if I want. And I can type in values. But you can see that's a little problem some since it shuts down my table when I do that. So I'm going to say mark. The best way is to hit the tab key. When I hit the tab key, it goes over to the next uh, column, stays in the same row. And I hit the tab key again, and it'll go over to type. I hit the tab key again, and I'll say rough opening. I hit the tab key again and I say quantity. Now I can actually hit the arrow keys and I can shift with my hit my left arrow key now. I can move around navigating with my arrow keys and I can say well this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, E, you know F etc. So I can move around with my arrow keys. Also um, I can basically I can if I'm over here in this one now I can do a shift tab and it goes backwards to the left stays in the same row tab goes forward to the right and shift tab goes to the left okay and uh, I can place in any amount of information in here I want. Uh, also, if I want to, if I'm if I'm typing a long sentence, so it's a long sentence, right? Sentence type thing, and I'm going long, and I really want to put an enter in. Um, when I hit enter, it actually would go down one column. Uh, one row and it stays in the column. So each time I hit enter, it's moving along. So it makes it difficult to place an enter into an actual cell. So if I want to do that, um, I need to hold down the Alt key and then hit enter. And that allows me then to put a second uh, row of text in in uh, cell and notice when I get to the uh, end of the window it act automatically adjusts then so I hit enter and I can go down to the next cell. I can once I'm done entering all my text in I can hit the close text editor. To go back in all the easiest way is just to double click on the schedule and I can open up the text editor and I can make a change. Okay, so I can close the text editor. If I want to come in here and, and double click, I'm in that particular cell and I'm typing, typing away, and I can hit enter and move down the line, or I can hit tab and go sideways. And once I'm done, I close the text editor. All right, so that is how we add cell content in tables.